Welcome to meditation. I'm Sujantra for Pilgrimage of the Heart Live. And last uh, few sessions, what I've been doing is choosing a book that has uh, meant a lot to me in my journey and then talking about a topic or two from it. And I just finished with uh, a beautiful book called The Prophet. The Prophet by Khalil Gibran. Beautiful, beautiful writing. And um, it's a story of a, a yogi or a, a, um, yeah, a yogi or a wise man who's about to leave a town. And the townspeople ask him to comment on a few things. So he talks on, the teacher says, teach, talk to us of teaching. And the politician says, talk to us of governance. And the judge says, talk to us of law. So it's a beautiful book. I really recommend it. Um, and I'm going to move on uh, to actually a book I wrote called Seven Secrets to Super Health. Seven Secrets to Super Health. Because the spiritual tradition, the yogic tradition, put so much importance on us knowing what we really are, who and what we truly are. And the concept of health, I think is a really good starting point for that journey. Because oftentimes we think of health just in terms of our physical body, what we take into our body, exercising, keeping ourselves well. But there's also our mental health, our emotional health, psychic health, our spiritual health. And exploring health and what it means to us is really uh, key. We each, for, in our own way, have to define what is healthy. I, a few years back, got my uh, certification as a group fitness instructor. Uh, and it was great, great program learning to teach people, you know, group fitness. But one of the questions the program asked, and ultimately helped us to answer, but the program asked us, you know, what is physical fitness? What does it mean to be physically fit? And the answer that was presented, which I really like, is that physical fitness means being able to do the things you love to do. So if you love to hike and run and swim, that your body is in the um, shape to do that. Because the, the opposite would be the things you've loved to do, you can no longer do because your physical fitness is not there. And I think the same thing really applies to our spiritual fitness. So when there's challenges in your life, are you able to uh, step back and cope with them? Or do you become... Uh, lost in anxiety or frustration, emotions like that. And so our spiritual fitness is, for me anyway, it's about um, being able to take on the challenges of life in a way that's productive and healthy. And the chapter that um, I'm going to springboard off tonight is the chapter on breath, breathing, and pranayama. So prana is the life force, our life force. And yama means to control. So the science of controlling our breath. Breath and mind are intertwined. You'll notice, or, or I invite you to notice during the work day or anytime, just notice how your breathing is. Notice the patterns of your breath. And what you'll discover or what I've discovered for myself is that when I'm anxious, when I'm off center, when I'm not present, my breath is very shallow. My shoulders are a little bit forward, so I'm not in a posture to be able to breathe deeply. And just the whole breath cycle is, is off. Contrary to that is when I'm having a real nice meditation or feeling very relaxed and peaceful I notice my breath, my breathing is nice and deep. 
and slow. So one of the secrets of yoga and meditation is to bring peace into your mind and heart, do so by slowing down your breath as much as is comfortable. So that's what we're going to focus on tonight, a couple of breath techniques, some prana, yama, controlling our breath. So we'll work with uh, the slowing down of our breath. The other thing that we'll work with is listening to our breathing, listening to the breath. And the technique of making your breath audible is called ujjayi breath. And it's when you create a slight contraction in the back of your throat to create that oceanic sound or that Darth Vader. So why don't you give it a little try? Just, it's also as if you were gonna fog a mirror. So just create a little contraction and notice how you can make your breath audible. Good, and then we'll come back to that technique in our meditation. So because we're going to work with breath tonight, let's open up our body a little bit. And you can have your hands on your thighs. We'll open up our shoulders. As you inhale, bring your shoulders forward and up. And as you exhale, back and down. We'll do this three times. Follow your own breath cycle. Now take the heel of your palm and put it into your side body. So just on the side, so you can feel your rib cage. And now as you breathe in, be conscious of your rib cage and your chest expanding and opening. And then as you exhale, shoulders come down, ribs close. Again, three times, feel that expansion in the rib cage. One more. Good, we'll also come back to that. Last one we'll do is hands on your belly. And as you breathe in, belly goes out. As you exhale, draw your belly in. So inhale, belly goes out. Exhale, belly comes in. Keep going with that, just go at your own pace. Nice and gentle, find your rhythm. Just be aware of the movement of your belly. Good, and then releasing that. And now we'll move into our practice. Beginning with your comfortable posture, spine as straight as is comfortable. Today's practice, again, with the breath control, you can do it either laying down or sitting up. Double check that your jaw is relaxed. Open and close it a few times. Same with the eyes, big wide eyes, and then Scrunch your face together. And relaxing. Breathe in, become aware of the muscles in your face, jaw. Exhale, releasing.
Now, at your own pace, so this isn't comparing yourself to anyone, it's just self-regulating, we're going to try and breathe as slowly as is comfortable. And for this, I suggest you start with awareness of your belly. So on the inhale, belly moves out a little bit, and then just let the energy fill up into your chest. On the exhale, chest releases, belly comes in just a little bit. Just use that kind of flowing, rolling motion. So fill with breath, release breath. Nice and slow, find your own pace. We're gonna keep focusing on our breathing and focus in on the sensuous, enjoyable experience of breath. To do this, you're gonna make your breath audible, engaging that slight contraction in the back of your throat, the ujjayi breath. So enjoying the sound of your breath, assuming your eyes are closed, enjoy any colors or light that you see in the back of your eyelids. Any sounds or silence around you. And the feeling of your body moving as you breathe. Breathing in and out as slowly as is comfortable. Thoughts invariably come and go. Stay focused on sensation, the experience of breath. We're gonna continue working with our breathing, but we're gonna add in a mantra, a seed sound, which you'll do inwardly. So still nice, slow, controlled breath. But now as you breathe in, add in either a quality you wanna concentrate on, such as courage, confidence, love, compassion, clarity, or simply the mantra, I am. So inwardly repeating the mantra as you enjoy the sensuousness of breathing. And on the exhale, just feeling whatever that mantra expresses to you, whatever it means to you.
Now we're going to shift our focus. Up to now, we've been controlling our breathing. Now just step back into the role of observer and let your body breathe however it wants to. So put as little conscious control over your breathing as you can, just as if you were stepping back and watching or feeling your stomach digest a nice meal. Same thing here. Just step back into your awareness and watch your broad body breathe however your body's intelligence chooses. Now, if you're able to focus in on the feeling of your heartbeat, and just notice, feel, enjoy how your heart beats without your conscious effort. Just feel that living beat, that living pulse within you. Now let's consciously go back to the breath control. Deep, slow inhalations and exhalations. And notice how this helps you to gather up your awareness, gather up your life force and be more conscious of it. Bring back the Ujjayi breath if you want, the mantra. Whenever your mind pulls you away, just bring your awareness back to the sensations, the feeling of breathing.
we'll add one more layer of intensity for the final two minutes. And that is to take a one or two second pause at the top of your inhalation. Once you've completely filled with air, pause for one or two seconds. And then after your exhalation, when all the air is out, again, pause for one or two seconds. So adding that in, but never straining yourself. And then releasing this technique and just for the last minute, going back to the observer, let your body reset itself through breath however it wants to. Just watch your body. Slowly bringing your awareness back to the room around you. Opening your eyes, letting a little bit of light. Again, letting your body breathe as that innate intelligence chooses, reset itself. Doing the breath control is in some ways like going for a hard run in terms of you, you push yourself a little bit, you don't overstrain, but then after the run, you relax and let your body recover. Same thing with the pranayama. You're going inside, tweaking a little bit the breathing pattern. So you're playing with some internal systems within your physiology so and your brain. Uh, so you wanna give a little time for that to all reset. And during the pranayama, ultimately, the more slowly you can breathe, the more calmness and concentration you'll get in your awareness. At the same time, you definitely don't want to strain your respiratory system. And so it's a really fine line of practicing these techniques, challenging yourself a little bit, but not straining. And the strain for me, if I push too hard in the pranayama, I'll feel it. After my practice, I'll be a little bit agitated. It means I've pushed a little bit too hard. Or a little bit of sweating during the practice. So just look for those telltale signs of pushing too hard, kind of that stressful feeling or a little bit anxious feeling or sweating. 
that means you're pushing too hard. Otherwise, just challenging yourself. With the breath control, we talked about the ujjayi breath to make your breath audible. Ujjayi means victorious. And for me, I think of it as it's a great victory when you can become conscious of your breathing. And in this case, um, hearing it. And that's the world of pranayama. So again, um, Seven Secrets to Super Health, book I wrote a few years ago. You can find it on Amazon. I think the Kindle version is amazingly inexpensive. Um, so you can learn more about the pranayama. All right, well, really nice meditating with everyone tonight. Good seeing y'all. And look forward to seeing you next time. Thanks, you guys. Thank you. Namaste. You're welcome.